there you see that first one 0080 permanent fault blower motor fan signal too low I had a too high signal missing a bunch of intermittent fault but that's a permanent one there so I don't know if this is focusing for you or not so we're gonna take a look at that we're gonna kind of see if we can get to this blower motor and see what we got going on I'm gonna try to show you this but I'm probably gonna block most of it because I'm gonna have to be where the camera is but we're gonna pull the glove box on this how do I get it out I don't know yet but we're gonna figure it out all right so obviously I have to it's kind of tucked up behind here. I don't, that just came right out with no problem. But if not, you can take this side panel off, just pull straight out. But it doesn't look like at this point I, don't, I need to take that off. So under here, there's three more screws. I don't know if they're part of glove box. I've already emptied it, but we're just going to keep going. feeling I don't see any more in here I have a feeling these three in the bottom here I have to take them out that's my guess but we're gonna do that now uh, I don't think that's part of the glove box though honestly well that's not I don't think. We'll see when I get this out of here. It just kind of tips forward. Let me see that stuff here that's that needs to be disconnected. Okay, some of this was already disconnected, it looks like. Now unplug my light here. Oh man, I'll just don't do this one here. I'll undo that one. So it is though, does that. Those are three bottom ones. I don't think those three bottom ones matter. It doesn't look like it at least. So let me just disconnect this here. And the blower motor is in here. Probably down here, right here. Yeah, this is a connector down the bottom. So, ooh, that looks like rodent. There's a rodent chew there, chewed right through it. Looks like that's what it looks like. At least that's what it looks like to me. So let's go underneath here. See what's involved in getting this blower motor out of here. There's two bolts up in here. There's a bracket. I think I'm going to loosen them because I think it gives me a little more leeway here. Um, I believe there's a screw that's right up against the firewall that's hard to get to. So... I think this gives us some more leeway. I think. We'll see. Could be completely wrong. get that below then I can move that whole housing but okay. there's the carnage not too bad to get out actually but uh, this is the connector I was talking about earlier and you can see it's it's busted up that was not me that was like that so I've got to try to figure it out and somebody's pulled on this because you can see the wire the red wire is pulled on the first thing I have to do is get that connector apart and see I want to test those wires, make sure we have power and ground. Um, but I'm betting we do, but I don't. I don't know yet. Uh, so I'm not sure if that was chewed on by a critter because it looks to me right there. I don't know if you can see. Whoa. What the heck? Why are you not? Why are you not seeing that? All right. Let me uh, let me see if I can get you. There you go. You see a hole? I think there was a critter in here. Chewed through it now. Did the critter do that? Possibly, but uh, could be that somebody was in here before too. Don't know, but let me get that apart and let's go test this 
wiring and then we'll test the motor. I got the connector off. It is not. Look at that. Hopefully you can see that. That is not good at all. Melted on the one side, corroded, and then you look down in the control module here. The module for the fan, it is just as bad. It is no good. Now, why? I don't know. I really don't know. But, at a minimum, this is going to require a module because there's you're not going to get that to work. And it requires a connect and needs a connector. Well, I've got the motor out of the car, obviously, the fan motor. I've got it uh, directly connected. I'm going to connect it to this 12 volt car battery. Um, and I've got an amp clamp on here. We'll see what kind of amperage it's pulling. Get this in a position where I can see it at the same time, maybe it would help. Um, you're not going to be able to see that, but. Uh, the motor is obviously good. It's not really showing a pulling much amperage at all here. Not much at all. Let me try that again. Make sure it's half an amp. It's all it's pulling. So I have an inline 30 amp fuse in case it is bad and wants to blow something up. Uh, that's the same rating as the circuit in the car, so uh, it needs the module resistor, but the fan itself, the motor, is good. All right, got the new connector here. Uh, standard motor parts, S24, S2427. I did check it against the connector for the module slash resistor, and it is correct. So I'm going to go um, splice this in. I'm not going to try to show you that because it's going to be a little ridiculous and there it's tight. You're not going to be able to see it anyway. I'll show you when it's done. Cut the old connector off and just do these one at a time. It's nice them to give you all the same colors so you can mix them up but just do one at a time. One to one. Make sure you got the connector facing the same orientation as the other one when you do it and then you won't have any problems. So I'm going to take the cage off of here first. Alright, I was able to... This is keyed. It's got a flat side on it. Uh, of course, it was a little bit corroded, so it didn't want to come off easy, but I was able to take a pot, have somebody hold it for me. Basically, hold under this underneath of the cage, hold it for me. And I was able to tap on that with a punch and tap it out of here, tap it off. Now, I went and cleaned it up on the wire wheel, so it should go back on there a lot easier. Uh, I did get my retainer off without breaking it. Right there, that's one of them. I will flatten that back out, just tap it flatten back out before I put it back on there. But now, I'm able to get that out, so. I have a new one here, and it's part number, also standard motor products, RU415. So we will put that on, put everything back together, and then go install it. Well, it helps if I actually put it in there, not upside down, I don't think. Maybe. All right, there we go. Yes, it does. My screws back in. Trying to keep it in the frame for you so you can see what I'm doing. Not much here. So uh, let me flatten that washer out real quick. Not much to that. Just kind of lose my box. But... Not 
That's it. Not much to it. A little more, I think. Pretty good. Now, hopefully this cage will slide on here a little easier. Remember, it does have a, it's keyed. It has a flat side. And that goes one way. Let me figure out which way that is. There's my flat side. If I can get this on here right. I do want to line it up correctly. Or it won't go back on there. There it goes. Now that it doesn't have corrosion on it, it slid right on there. Good. Put mine. Let me get a socket. The way they usually put these on, there's a now there's no groove in this one. Just get the right size socket that's just big enough and just push it on there. Let me go get one. I just want to show you it's all back together and it does work it's a little noisier than I like it to be but I think this thing hasn't worked for a long long time and I don't know what it was like before and whether or not it was like noisy like this but really didn't do anything to the motor took the cage off put the cage right back on but uh, it definitely works but it wasn't working before so now the AC actually will blow out of the vents and it's nice and cold so that's it. Not too bad. Actually, not too bad a job. Well, that's it for the uh, Volvo XC90 with the bad uh, resistor uh, module for the uh, fan motor. Uh, it's a little noisier than I'd like it to be, but I don't think this thing's worked for a long time. And uh, I don't know what it was like before. So, we really didn't do anything except take the cage off, put the cage back on. I don't really expect that to cause a problem. Uh, but it works really well and uh, blows well and the air conditioning is working now and I'm sure we'll be happy about that because it's getting warm and without a fan you're going to cook in that thing so if you need to do this for your Volvo XC90 I think that's a 2012 I don't remember to tell you the truth it's only been like three days and I still don't remember something in that range uh, I hope it helps you out if you like the videos click that like button and subscribe thanks for watching